Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit from Host and Flick Digest, and this is a quick benchmarks gaming and heating test of the Infocus M530. So before we start our test, let's uh, find out what's the temperature while the benchmarks are running. So you can see that the phone is at 35, 36 degrees on top uh, of the display. Display is comparatively cooler at 32 degrees. The top of the phone is. Uh, hotter at around 35-36. On the rear of the phone near the camera module the temperature is already around 38-39 degrees that's probably because of running benchmarks. On the middle it's cooler at 32 degrees uh, so I suspect that the processor is somewhere near the camera module where the temperature is highest at 39.4 or something that we saw the maximum. So uh, let's run the benchmark show the results and play few games and see how much it heats up. We get a score of 52,621 that is an incredible score that we get on the Infocus M530. Uh, it is scoring higher than the Note 4 and uh, some phones like Mizu MX4. At this point on our previous test we got a score of 45 to 46,000. Uh, we did this after a boot and there might be some inconsistencies here. But yes it is scoring incredibly high. It is part by an octa-core chipset which is a MediaTek 32-bit uh, MT 6595 chipset and has Parvier G6200. It has a lot of sensors to support gaming so if you are a gamer and wondering how many sensors it gets, it gets direction, G sensor, acceleration, light, e-compass, proximity, gyro, linear acceleration and rotation vector sensor. That's a lot of sensor support. Now without wasting any time let's play Frontline Commando 2 which is a first person shooter game and find out uh, how well it performs on this game as well as how much hot it gets. We are playing the Frontline Commando 2 which is uh, a moderate graphics game and uh, we are testing it on this game for smoothness. This is a first person shooter and it seems to be performing well here. <clears throat> there is no drop of frames, it's very very smooth. The graphics are nice and the visual clarity here on the screen is also very good. The colors are very nice. I like what I see on the screen here. It's very easy to target and kill the enemies here. And we completed the mission in no time. Let's find out how hot it gets after playing uh, one small level of this game. And uh, we are gonna test the temperature near the top and it's 37-38 degrees as you can see on your screen. That's the hottest portion uh, on the phone at around 37. So it's not getting very hot but yes it is getting warm since it's a very powerful octa-core processor. It does tend to get heated up and uh, but it on the plus side it gives you a very good graphics experience. So this phone is capable of handling moderate to heavy games with ease. It comes with a lot of performance which is packed in. It comes with 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB internal memory and comes with some great cameras so do watch our uh, full review for camera review as well this is a thumbs up from us uh, at around 11,000 rupees uh, the Infocus M530 makes a lot of sense this is all we have on this video if you enjoyed watching it don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for latest video updates make sure to hit the red subscribe button this is your host Rohit Khurana signing off thanks for watching